Yeah, other than that, they're pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, I agree with you, especially with the speed thing. I think they're built for speed, but they don't have that type of speed anymore. And you, you saw some of those plays. I mean, you're right about DeSmith on that one. You want to be aggressive. You want to be at the top of your, you know, crease there, your top of the goal paint. But, man, he, he was out of position. And, uh, listen, you have a two-goal lead against Buffalo, and I know Buffalo's playing good hockey, but that's a team you should finish if you're a playoff team. You're up three at home. I know Boston is playing really well to start the season. That's a game you need to finish. I'm worried more about defensively. Look at those two-on-one breaks, what they did when they had the lead against Boston. Uh, you managed, managed to not finishing. All right, back-to-back. Back. Is there a little fatigue? Probably, but no excuses. I mean, this team is built to try to win a Stanley Cup. And, man, there are some deficiencies there. And here's the thing. With as tight as they are against the cap, and it's not like they've got a cavalry of young players that they can, you know, plug in here. Uh, they got to search long and hard. they got a couple of days here before their next game, and uh, they need to fix some things. And I don't know if they can do a lot of roster shuffling or maybe some line shuffling, but there's not a lot of different answers in that room. No. And here's the thing, Jeff. I know it's early in the season, so I'm not going to jump into this. It's just the 2nd of November. However, if they find themselves playing, you know, kind of a – lackluster brand of hockey and they're falling behind in the standings and they find themselves not in playoff contention you can actually see them go against what they did in the offseason which was bring back the core players they may sense an opportunity to trade somebody to get something at some point yeah you could see that and and to your point and i'm very much with this listen they're just a few games into the season it's still early. There's still things that are going to happen. Some of these teams that are playing great hockey now, they're going to have bad things that happen to them that are going to affect the way they're playing. I still think uh, this is a good hockey team. It's just they need to figure out what these mistakes are. And, you know, they have some new pieces on the defensive end. Maybe it's just taken them some time to figure out the Penguins' system. But I think to your overall point, my fear with this team is they're constructed to play with the speed that they had five years ago that they just don't have. Occasionally they do. They'll show spurts, and they, they still have some fast players, uh, but not to the extent that they had when they were, you know, really running amok in the NHL a few years ago. Yeah, and you saw it at the end of the game when Zemgus Gergensen goes down and outraces Malkin and Latang to the puck to wipe out an icing call. It led to the, an empty net goal. You just can't have that. I don't care how tired they were on the ice, and they may have been, but at the same time, you got to get back there and get that icing call. We'll take a break, Jeff. When we come back, we'll talk some Steelers and get your phone calls. It's 412-575-2600. Give us a shout right here, right now. We're live on Pittsburgh CW and 93.7 The Fan.